Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tara and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at what do people think when you walk into the room. So please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave what doesn't and it's going to be different for everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and show you your crystals now. For pile number one we have citrine. For pile number two, we have rose quartz. And for pile number three, we have amethyst. I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you are most drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one pile, you can pick two or all of them. Your intuition will always know best. If you are done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below and then I will see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones. If you chose the citrine crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what do people think when you enter the room. So you chose the card Pink Lotus Fairy. It says a time for spirit. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards, but please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as the messages may differ for everyone. Okay, so for your cards we have innovation, new creations, the next card we have is the empress, the next card we have is the eight of voices which is the eight of swords. The next card we have is the Four of Emotions, which is the Four of Cups. The next card we have is the Awakening card, which is the Judgment card in this tarot deck. The next card we have is the Three of Emotions, which is the Three of Cups. The next card we have is the Five of Swords. The next card we have is the Empress. The next card we have is the star. And lastly we have the six of wands. Okay my pal number ones, now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly what people think when you walk into the room. So the first thing I'm noticing within your cards, my pal number ones, we have the Empress here showing up twice for your reading. So this tells me whether you are a man or a woman, you are extremely, extremely attractive and that is the first thing people notice about you when you enter the room. And that's what they think when you enter the room, that you're extremely attractive. Um, if you are a woman, that you are extremely just very beautiful, very Venusian in some type of way, like all eyes are on you and it's just kind of like this energy of you don't even have to try. You give off this classy, flowy vibe and it's like people just fall in love with you with how beautiful you look, you know what I mean? You hold a high amount of beauty and since you chose the citrine crystal, people think that you are really confident in yourself. People think that you hold yourself to a high self-worth and that you are 
someone that is valued in a high regard, someone that is highly respected in some type of way, okay? Um, same for men, same thing, like uh, holding yourself for a high regard, being very respected. But for men, if you are a man watching this, I feel like perhaps you just... I'm hearing make the ladies soon if you're attracted to women or just the people you're attracted to. You make them almost just dizzy and lighthearted in some type of way. Um, lightheaded. I said lighthearted by mistake, but I guess maybe both. There's this feeling of you being really sexy, but really also just having this class to you, this this high status look to you that you're extremely just very handsome very attractive the feeling i get from the emperor showing up twice is everyone notices your beauty or attractiveness or handsomeness when you walk into the room and people naturally put you on a higher pedestal you probably look like someone that has a lot of money or is very successful in some type of way by the way you dress even if you don't wear expensive clothes there's something about you that looks very i'm hearing chic very the feeling i get from this is like people would naturally just think you're a model or that you're having a lot of money living somewhere luxurious or that your clothes are luxurious in some type of way and with the star your beauty shines brightly but also your soul shines brightly people get to know that after a while um but i feel like the first thing people notice about you and think when you walk into the room is how attractive you are how you also have the seductive quality to you like you could get any person in that room you wanted. You know what I mean? Um, and people naturally just feel very drawn to you when you walk into the room. Like I mentioned, you also look like someone that is very confident in yourself. Like someone that holds yourself to a high value. You know what I mean? And people may not compliment you as much because they think that you already know how attractive you are. And I feel some jealousy here because of that, okay? Sometimes there is some jealousy here from people of the same gender as you because you come into the room and you just look like you just steal all eyes on you. All eyes are on you and this person or people can notice how when everybody looks at you there's a sparkle in their eyes like um they're showing me you know in cartoons when a character will have like heart eyes and then their mouth will drop to the floor or they'll be uh panting with their tongue out and now i'm hearing the song um that song like it's getting hot in here so what so take off all your clothes uh so there's almost this feeling of people noticing how other people look at you and they think wow i can't compete with this you know what i mean um because all eyes are on you you just you just have all eyes on you and you have this feeling of like i'll give an example let's say um let's say you're a woman and you walk into the room and you're at some type of party get together thing um everyone naturally just wants to pour a drink for you or make a comfortable seat for you or ask you if you want a snack like that's the feeling i get like people just come to you and want to almost give to you if that makes sense um that's the feeling I get from that with the Empress card. doesn't have to be exactly like that, but there is that feeling I get from this. So you are very, very attractive, extremely attractive. And that's the first thing people think and notice. And people of the same gender, they kind of get a little bit insecure. They feel very stuck 
when they look at you because they tried so hard that day to look their best and here you are shining and being the spotlight in some type of a way when you walk into the room all eyes on you um and they feel very stuck when they do look at you because they know you're so attractive and then they just feel stuck because it's like all this hard work they put into trying to look beautiful handsome and nobody's really looking at them or paying attention to them so there's this feeling of them really looking at you and feeling almost like resentful. I don't feel like this is everyone, but this is some people. The people that are friends with you, that kind of like know they shine and are good with themselves internally won't feel this way. But I feel like it's not you my pal number ones I think it's their own insecurities being triggered by you in some type of way because I feel the feeling here that you are people of high vibrations um some of you look very spiritual in some type of way uh like some of you walk into the room and you're wearing a crystal necklace or you just look very free or spiritual or maybe you talk about the fact that you are spiritual in some type of way. That's the feeling I get here from a time for, for spirit. Or some of you just dress in a way that looks very free. That looks very spiritual in some type of way. Um, and my point here is like people kind of feel that you have such a high vibration. Um, and you shine so much in... Like when you walk into the room, you shine so much. But also the fact that you look spiritual or you seem spiritual in some type of way. It's like people feel fear when they think these thoughts. Because it's like, does this person know that I am jealous of them? Does this person know that I don't like them? Let me put on a brave face and try to be nice to them in some type of way and try to hide that I'm feeling insecure. Um, so you just trigger a lot of deep emotions within people when you walk into the room. So when you walk into the room, you either trigger a deep emotion of them being drawn to you, feeling really highly attracted to you, or wanting to be your friend here with the three of cups really just thinking wow this person is so beautiful or handsome they shine so bright i'd love to be their friend i'd love to be their lover um for people that are okay with themselves but then they still have a deep emotion that's triggered where they're really drawn to you and they want to speak to you they want to get to know you and they don't usually have deep emotions triggered like that when um, they meet other people. So it's kind of a weird feeling for them. Whereas others that are insecure within themselves and not okay with themselves, you trigger deep emotions of insecurity within them. But this is a spiritual lesson for them to learn where the insecurities lie. Because you're so high vibrational, it's your energy that shines as well. And I think for them, I think after a while with the awakening card, they're like, oh, okay, I get it. But the energy they're showing me is you, you make people almost feel emotionally unstable in some type of way. Like if someone is really attracted to you, they feel emotionally unstable because they don't ever feel that type of deep feelings for someone at first sight. You know what I mean? Or when someone really just looks at you and they're feeling insecure within themselves, you trigger deep emotions of insecurity and this feeling of stuckness and resentment within them. Um, and they're showing me that series Daria... 
there was one episode where Quinn had a bunch of these other friends. Um, Quinn was the popular girl, Daria was her sister. And Quinn was going to school. I can't remember what she did, but I think she was wearing some type of outfit or a bag or something. And then the other popular girls that were friends with Quinn were like, that is so like last year, something along those lines of it's not in style anymore. Or, oh, you probably got this at this cheap store, blah, 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 blah. I don't feel like you're mean like that, but it almost triggers that feeling within them of insecurity. Then the next day, um, Quinn goes back to school and she asks her dad for like a whole lot of money to go shopping. She comes back to school with the best dress closed, everything like that. Um, because here we have the innovation card with new creations, I feel you're very inno innovative with the way you dress. Uh, you're very unique and your fashion style just captures people in as well. So there's that feeling of people almost just trying to compete with you the next time they see you around. That they absolutely want to steal the spotlight from you in some type of way. Okay, if they do ever see you again. And yeah, she goes back to school like that. And it goes on to a whole episode where they're just competing with each other and how they look. And later on, Quinn starts to diet and she gets really, really skinny. And then the other girl starts to diet and then she's absolute bones. <laughs> That episode was so long um, with so many things in it. But the point I'm trying to get to is people see you steal the spotlight and they see you shine so much that they almost try to dim your shine by maybe making remarks here with the Five of Swords or comments to make you feel insecure within yourself the way they're feeling insecure so they project their insecurities onto you and I'm feeling a pain behind so they're a pain in the butt sometimes these jealous people I don't want to focus too much on them but it's coming up um so when people do do this Know that they're just projecting their insecurities onto you. They're trying to compete with you, but it's not even a competition to you. You're just shining over there. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like later on as they get to know you, if they do get to know you with the awakening card, they understand that that insecurity within themselves was triggered for a reason so that they could also learn something about their self-worth since you chose the citrine crystal so that they can build on their self-worth and really realize that there's nothing con to compare themselves to that they can shine and you can shine at the same time in both different um, aspects of self and different traits and qualities that you can both shine together and there's this feeling of after they've known you for a while or seen you around a bit, um, they really get to know you and they see that you're a really nice person, that you're really kind, that you're really patient, um, that you're also really strong and gone through some things in your own life. And there's this feeling of, oh, I get it. I get it. I shouldn't have even been jealous at this person because... There's nothing to be jealous of. They're such a kind person. They're such a sweet person. They're such an incredible person to be around. Um, I shouldn't have been that way in the first place. So there's this kind of realization that takes place here after knowing you a little bit after you walk into the room. Like let's say you walk into the room and it's a place where you go to regularly and they also go to regularly. Like, for example, you go to a friend's house and they're having some type of party and you go there every weekend and they're always hosting things. Or that's just like an example. Or you go into a restaurant and you see the same person there because they go there also a lot. You get what I mean? Um... 
so this has a purpose because you're so high vibrational you bring out that energy of clearing out that for people so that they can realize the beauty within them as well so yeah I don't want to focus too much on them but the thing people think about you when you enter the room my pile number ones is that you bring out some deep emotion within them okay and they feel just really drawn to you in some type of way or you bring out the feeling of insecurity within them you seem like someone that is really open spiritually or open to spirituality in some type of way by the way you dress by the way you carry yourself or you're just a very religious person in some type of way or you look free in some type of way and that's something people think about you um and people just feel really drawn to you you look like someone that is very innovative and when you walk into the room people think wow this person's outfit like the way they're carrying themselves they're always having something new they're always bettering themselves in some type of way um, not only just in the way you look but also with your successes here with the six of wands you're always growing always creating something new always transforming and that is what people think if they see you regularly or if they just see you for the first time they just think wow this person's so creative with the way they express themselves in some type of way they look like they're really creating a lot for themselves in their career as well with the six of wands like they're really shining getting recognition and success in some type of way um there's just this feeling of you bettering yourself each time you go there if it's somewhere you go regularly and they see you regularly okay there's this feeling of you bringing out a lot of emotions of peace in people when they're not triggered by you uh like you just make people feel so calm and serene i know we're not doing a reading on what people feel but i'm i'm more so getting feelings from people than thoughts if that makes sense because you trigger deep feelings within people when you walk into the room um so you trigger a lot of like attraction in people as well um but also you bring out a lot of peace and serenity in people like they feel like they can just chill with you and talk to you and just be relaxed you know what i mean um but you also make a lot of people want to be your friend here with the three of cups because you shine so brightly and people think when you enter the room that you shine a lot that you are someone that shines in everything you do you know what i mean and there's this feeling of them just being drawn to you um at the same time people also just want to be your lover or be around you in some type of way they also see your growth if they see you regularly they see you always transforming yourself in your own life and all aspects of your life and people really think that you are someone that is successful in some type of way with the six of wands someone that has a lot of luxurious things someone that is always bettering themselves in career always creating new things new ideas always expanding and growing as a person and that is what people think of you when you enter the room my pile number ones so i really hope that this reading resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i can't wait to see you in my next reading bye hi there my pile number twos if you chose this rose quartz crystal this reading is for you we're going to be taking a look at what do people think when you enter the room okay so you chose these cards dried flower fairy sweet memories i'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of your cards for you um but please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave what doesn't as the messages may differ for everyone okay so we have the cards sensuality feminine wisdom and passion
We have the Queen of Coins, which is the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Inspiration, which is the Seven of Wands. We have the Lovers. We have the Ace of Inspiration, which is the Ace of Wands. We have the star. We have the five of wands. We have the lovers. We have the sun. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, my pile number twos. Now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly what people think when you enter the room. So with the sensuality card, there's this feeling of you being extremely, extremely attractive, extremely, maybe even seductive in some type of way by the way you dress. It's like everyone just feels drawn to you. And since we have the lover's card come out twice with the sensuality card, there's this feeling of people just being very attracted to you even chose the rose quartz crystal which is a stone of beauty and love okay so there's this feeling of people just being very attracted to you you being very sexy very sensual looking the way you dress being very looking good like uh people's mouths are all, almost dro drooling like I'm even getting tongue-tied. There's this feeling of people maybe even getting tongue-tied around you because you're so attractive. But even people of the same gender, it's like you're just so attractive and you shine so much with the star card that people just almost get tongue-tied around you. And they may also do too much around you where they're just trying to do everything to get your attention in some type of way because you're so attractive. Okay, so there's this feeling of you just maybe wearing an outfit or something. For my woman, maybe you look really sexy the way you dress. You look really hot. For my men, maybe the way you do your hair or the way you just dress or speak. I'm hearing some of your voices are attractive. Some of you just have very attractive faces. Or for my woman, maybe the way you do your makeup, the way you do your hair. There's something extremely seductive and hot and sexy about you, my pal number twos, but also just very beautiful, very handsome. Uh, you shine so much when you walk into the room with the star card. You just take all eyes on you. And it's similar to pile number one because pile number one also got the star, but a different energy at the same time. So... There's this energy of you just shining so bright when you enter the room. All eyes are on you, like a beautiful star in the night sky. All eyes just want to look at this beautiful star. You know what I mean? And just stare at it for long. That's the feeling I get. And like I said, people get tongue-tied around you. People just really feel attracted to you. Uh, especially the people that you're attracted to or the gender you're attracted to. And there's this feeling of those people just doing too much, trying everything to get you to notice them in some type of way, maybe even acting silly, trying to make you laugh, to kind of get your attention. There's this feeling of you, <laughs> they're showing me Riverdale, uh, the new season, and I think I saw this episode for another reading 
but I'm seeing the second episode now where uh, she invited all these men into uh, a hotel or something and it was like five or six different men and they were all competing for her like a competition to see who goes to with her to prom there's this feeling they're showing me that there's this feeling of you being so attractive people just want to compete for you they just want to do the best to get you to pay attention to them or notice them but there's also this feeling of them being so attracted to you and seeing other people attracted to you at the same time so then they don't do anything they just try to push those feelings aside or those thoughts aside with the seven of wands there's this people this feeling of people kind of like just seeing you is so attractive so sexy so beautiful in some type of way that they just want to do the most that's that's the feeling i get um and i'm also seeing clumsiness like people get really clumsy around you or they trip over their words things like that and there's this feeling of them being so attracted to you that it makes them stressed out that they almost just that they almost just want to like contract their shoulders and comfort themselves in some type of way i don't know how to explain what i mean um but i'm feeling like it's it's just this energy of they want to protect themselves from the feelings they have for you if that makes sense so perhaps it makes sense if some of the people are in connections or if they just see you being so attractive but they see other people liking you so they don't do anything about it um and then there's this feeling of them not wanting to like really make conversation with you because they know they'll catch feelings i'm hearing that song don't be afraid to catch feelings um so yeah there is this feeling of you just being very attractive and drawing all attention to you shining brightly and really really just all eyes are on you when you enter the room and these thoughts going through people's minds they're just flabbergasted they're mind blown by how attractive you are it almost makes them feel off balance if that makes sense um, for some of you with the lover's card, since you have so many people attracted to you, like I mentioned, they almost try to fight over you with the five of wands here and seven of wands. Um, but some of you are currently in connections and you've walked with your lover into the room is what I feel as well. And there's this feeling of those other people being very jealous of your partner because you just shine so much and you just naturally attract all the attention that everybody wants you in some type of way <laughs> i'm hearing everybody wants a piece of the pie so i don't know if this sounds similar to a reading i did the other day on youtube i can't remember but i said that so I don't know if you're from the same pile, but if not, but it's like everyone wants a piece of you um, and everyone wants to fight over you. That's the feeling I get. And they feel just very jealous of your lover, like not jealous in the way that they want to do something or fight them, but jealous in the way of like, oh, that that man or that woman is lucky to have such an attractive lover. You know what I mean? Um but I'm feeling like when alcohol gets involved, there may be some tension there because of that jealousy if you are with someone romantically. But there's also this feeling of if you have walked anywhere with someone that is a platonic friend and then people mistaken them for your lover and then get really jealous of them. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess, I guess there's that feeling there that is prominent in your reading that you're just so attractive that 
People just want to compete for your love. People just want to compete to have you in some type of way. And sometimes they don't even come up to talk to you because they think that you have a lot of people competing for you or that a lot of people are attracted to you. So they try to push away the feelings. And like I mentioned, you just make people mind blown with your beauty. You almost put people off balance with your attractiveness in some type of way. And there's the sensuality feel that you're just very seductive in some type of way. Even if you don't dress in a seductive way or carry yourself in that way. It's just like people feel very attracted to you. That they instantly think thoughts like that. Okay. Uh, that they instantly kind of like think thoughts like. I'd love to spend a night with that person. Like let's say if you went out to a bar or a club. And then they instantly want to flirt with you. You get what I mean? Or maybe they're even thinking of flirting with you. But they feel very nervous around you. Because you're so attractive. But there's also this feeling you give people or this thought you give people when you enter the room with sweet memories here in the sun card. You look like someone that has had a lot of beautiful memories in your life. You look like someone that is always smiling. You look like someone that, well, that's what they think at least, that you are someone that is always smiling, that you're someone that's always happy, always laughing, always having good times in your life and with the queen of pentacles showing up here perhaps they think that you're someone that has the money to do things and have experiences like travel and just have a beautiful home and never struggle in your life and just kind of like have beautiful experiences not in the sense of like them seeing the way you're dressed maybe some of you they think that you look like you dress expensive or they think you look bougie in some type of way. But the feeling I get is mostly like, and also elegant and classy I'm hearing, but the feeling I get is mostly like people think that you are someone that is always having good memories, that you're never um stuck in the way where if you want to like let's say they think you have money and let's say they think if you want to go travel to Paris today you can do that and uh or if you want to go out on a date today there's a line of people waiting for you to date you and that you're never going to struggle that you're always going to be happy in some type of way or smiling or laughing or let's say that you want to uh, book a hotel tonight and really or book an airbnb and go somewhere but you have enough money to do that to have good memories or let's say that you want to they think that you want to throw a party at your house and you just have a big house to invite a lot of people and impress people. So that's the thoughts people have of you. But also that you seem like you're someone that has a lot of good memories in their life. That smiles a lot. Perhaps some people have seen you enter the room and look very happy or smile or laugh. Or other people naturally just want to make you laugh. And then they think that. So for some of you, it may be a misconception because maybe you're not actually like that and they're just seeing a small portion of your mood, um, but then they think that you are like that, if that makes sense, when you enter the room. Also with the sun card and sweet memories, I'm kind of also getting the energy that people think that you're someone that has a lot of friends around you, that you're someone that's highly admired. That you're someone that people just love to be around and people feel just happy around you. People feel playful, people feel fun, people feel passionate about you. And it's like when other people talk about you before you enter the room, they can see the smiles on these people's faces. Or maybe they speak about a memory that they've had with you and then you enter the room and... You just steal all the spotlight and you just make people's jaws drop is the feeling I get. 
from you because you hold so much beauty within your soul but also your outer beauty and it's like people speak about the memories of you and you just seem like such a amazing person okay and that is something I am picking up strongly in your reading but also like when you walk into the room and people get to know you with the queen of cups there's this feeling of them when they get to know you and you walk into the room and they actually have a conversation with you after seeing you shine so much then they see that you also shine in your spirit in your soul that you're just a very kind-hearted a very loving person and naturally they start to think about you in more of a big picture view okay they they expand their vision of you or their their thoughts of you in some type of way from not just being so attractive but also being a very kind-hearted sweet person that they want to make good memories with and friendships with or love connections with there's this feeling like everybody wants to be around you because your personality shines your soul shines but also your looks shine in some type of way and you just seem like a very compassionate person, very understanding, very patient, very kind and very sweet. And that is something people think about you when they start to talk to you because you also seem like someone that has no judgment, like they can just say anything and you're not going to judge them in any type of way. You also seem like a very compassionate person and they think you're really compassionate. And you may also have a lot of people just come up to you and tell you their problems or offload their stresses onto you because you just seem like a naturally compassionate person. And there's also this feeling of them wanting to protect themselves or not feeling safe around others but around you they feel very open um, because you have this open loving nurturing energy and that is what people think of you when they start talking to you after you enter the room okay my pal number twos so that was your reading on what people think about you when you enter the room I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there, my pal number threes. If you chose this amethyst crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what do people think when you enter the room. So please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave what doesn't because the messages are going to differ for everyone. You chose the card Candy Cane Angel. It says it's time for a treat. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards for you. The next card we have is Portal, Infinite Mind and Awakening Consciousness. We have the star. We have the magician. We have the queen of emotions, which is the queen of cups. We have the nine of emotions, which is the nine of cups. We have the knight of inspiration, which is the nine, the knight of wands. We have the ten of swords. We have the fool. We have the four of swords. And lastly, we have the Four of Pentacles.
Okay, my pile number threes. Now that your cards are laid out, I see exactly what people think when you enter the room. So the first thing I'm noticing in your cards, we have Candy Cane Angel here. There's this feeling of you walking into the room along with the Queen of Emotions, Queen of Cups here. There's this feeling of you walking into the room and looking like a person that maybe has a little bit of an innocent, youthful look to you or yeah, maybe just youthful or you just seem very trustworthy in some type of way. And as that is the thought that people think in their minds. Because uh, there's this feeling of... There's this feeling of people just looking at you and you look very... like You look like a very cary per, caring person. You look like a very sweet person. And I also felt something along the lines of like either when you walk into the room before you walk into the room people speak about you and speak about how sweet you are how you're such a kind and caring person how you're so nurturing sweet kind empathetic um you have this angelic energy to you but also really sweet now i'm hearing that song sweet by uh tyler the creator sweet i thought you wanted to dance something like that so there's this feeling of like them speaking about you not behind your back in a negative way before you enter the room but just speaking about how much of an amazing person you are before you walk into the room or after okay and that is something I'm getting specifically, not about how they think about you, but how people speak about you before you enter the room or after you enter the room. So, yeah, like I said, you seem like someone that's very trustworthy, someone that's very caring, someone that's very angelic, someone that's very sweet, kind, loving and nurturing. Um, and that is what people think about you when you first enter the room. But there's also this feeling of you, as we see sweetness here, there's this feeling of you also looking very sweet in your appearance. Um, the feeling they're giving me is, you know, like I think it was Hansel and Gretel where they had that candy house and everything like that. They're showing me that to symbolize how attractive you are where... It's like everybody wants you. Just like when we see a house full of candy. Everyone wants to go and lick that house and eat parts off of it. But not in the literal sense of people want to do that to you. But even with the Nine of Cups here, we see a genie lamp here. So there's this just this feeling of everyone sees how attractive you are. And everyone almost wants a piece of you in some type of way. Okay, the feeling I'm getting is like you're a delicious ice cream and everyone wants this delicious ice cream. <laughs> um, there's something about you where people think that you are the ideal friend, the ideal partner. Perhaps it has something to do with the things people said before and after, but also when you walk into the room, that's what they think. Uh, they think that you're the ideal friend, the ideal partner, that you have or you have everything everyone wishes to have traits or qualities or things in your life that you have that they wish to have as well in terms of also your successes which I will get into in a moment but the feeling I'm getting here is everyone wants a piece of you and there's this feeling of everyone wanting to talk to you but sometimes people also feel scared to talk to you because you're so attractive with the star card because you shine so bright um and it's like everyone wants to talk to you everyone wants to be your friend everyone wants to be your lover there is that feeling there my pal number threes and people are just itching to be your friend itching to be your partner itching to be around you itching to speak to you but there's this feeling of Everyone wants to speak to you and they're showing me um, something where a person standing in the middle 
and two people want this person and they're both pulling this person so there's this feeling of everyone wants to speak to you but maybe nobody gets a chance to speak to you when you walk into the room uh you give off this feeling to others like others think that you're popular in some type of way or that everyone or they just see everyone wanting to interact with you that they almost feel like they're walking up to a celebrity <laughs> does that make sense that's the feeling i get and with the star card there's this feeling of you holding so much attractiveness so much of sexiness as well but also having the sweet innocent look that makes you even more attractive in some type of way so like let's just say you're not wearing something revealing today it's like people just wanna see more of you <laughs> in terms of like physical attraction uh because we see a woman wearing a bikini here and you my pal number threes with the portal card are my types of people that just draw people in just hypnotize people in when you walk into a room it's like when you walk into the room you're the star of the show you're the spotlight and everyone is looking at you everyone's drawn to you everyone is kind of pulled into a trance because of your beauty being so much or um, handsomeness or attractiveness being so much that you naturally just put people in some kind of trance or hypnotization do you even see these little swirls here they kind of look like those hypnotizing things <laughs> you get what i mean so there is this feeling of you just luring or drawing people in to just you have that presence of when you walk into the room you have that presence of look at me and look at me now and kind of get drawn to me and be pulled into a trance and you have to kind of shake your head to be taken out of that trance that's the feeling i get when you walk into the room of what people think they're naturally just drawn to you all eyes are on you my pal number threes and you shine a lot you shine so brightly with the star card you naturally pull all eyes on you you naturally pull all attention towards you okay my pal number threes and like i said because you do that there's just this presence you have it's almost like marilyn monroe you know when she walked into a room and she naturally just was able to make people look at her with this vibe she put off with this essence she put off but when she was her normal self people didn't notice her when she was walking on the street so i feel like you have that type of essence to you and they're saying you are my pile that are like a beautiful butterfly and you know that butterfly flies past and everyone wants to grab on this butterfly and keep it and hold it with the four of pentacles here um but you're naturally gonna fly away like a beautiful butterfly they can't keep you there forever so there's that feeling of everybody wants you everybody wants you um i, I don't feel like it's a possessive energy people get over you but people just ne f naturally feel and think exciting thoughts when they are near you that they just want to be around you for a long time with the four of pentacles or hold you close and you're like that butterfly that flies away but everyone just admires its beauty but people want to catch this butterfly and i'm kind of feeling the energy some of you if you're a woman i feel the energy that you have a lot of natural beauty to you that you don't need to wear a lot of makeup because i feel like sometimes you walked into a room with little to no makeup and people just see your beauty and you still shine a lot and the feeling they're giving me is you know when you wear a lot of makeup and your face feels cakey and everything like maybe other women do that and if you're a woman watching this and then they see you with no makeup on or little makeup on and they kind of feel a little bit down by it with the ten of swords okay maybe a little bit even resentful towards you because of that so that's something i'm picking up on people are also just scared to feel something too deep for you because they just want to hold on to you have that vibe like that butterfly energy like they just want to hold on to you and keep you by their side forever like that kind of feeling um and i don't know if you feel this from people like when you walk into the room 
that everybody just wants to talk to you everyone just wants to be around you make you laugh make you smile talk to you charm you in some type of way (sighs) that's the feeling i get here they also are just itching to want to get to know you um to study you in some type of way with the four of pentacles but not in a bad way there's this feeling of you my pound number threes like i said maybe people talk about you before or after and they maybe say oh this person my pound number threes they've gone a lot of tough gone through a lot of tough moments in their life with the ten of swords but they've learned to transform themselves and get out of that with the full card they may have had a lot of lack in their life in career um in money and things like that and now they're successful they've created success for themselves with a magician card or let's say you know maybe you were a person in the past that had a lot of anxiety didn't have a lot of friends around you and now you're someone that's very confident in yourself you've changed that energy around and created something different and now you're in a new energy with the fool or let's say you were someone that had a lot of an emotional pain with you and when people hear that you have changed your life around and now you're you're feeling a lot more happy in yourself you've taken care of your mental health your emotions people want to know how you've done it Um, maybe you've had a lot of anxiety in the past around people but maybe you've learned to also work on your emotions in a way and not let that anxiety get the better of you and now you've changed something in your energy there's this feeling of people talking about you in a very high regard before or after you enter the room and other people are like wanting to know kind of like just scratching their head how did they get there how did they make success for themselves how did they heal themselves emotionally how did they do this how did they do this how did they create this type of life for themselves where they're really shining and really just taking care of themselves in every way possible and looking towards new beginnings with hope and bright energy and having so much good luck How do they do this? How do my pal number threes do this? So that is a thought they think of you after hearing these stories about you. Okay, but good stories, you know what I mean? And then people just really feel impressed by you and they just want to know how. And you may actually get people ask you like how you've done it or maybe they start to talk to you about their emotions because they naturally feel safe or comfortable around you because you give off that caring vibe and you give such great advice and then people are like how is this person so wise and intuitive and how does this person have so much knowledge and there's this feeling of you also being very smart and good with your words good at communicating um, knowing what words to say and when to say it and people just feel in awe of your energy that's the energy I feel like They feel in awe of your energy when you walk into the room. So yeah, people really, because you've changed your life around, they also just see you as a person that can naturally give them good advice or compassion in some type of way, whether it's to do with their careers, their healing journeys. It's like they think, how did my pal number threes do it? So now they want to ask you, how you did it or how you got there or ask you for advice in some type of way or tell you about their lives because they think that you are such a caring person when you walk into the room there's this feeling of you literally just transforming yourself and having so much powerful growth in your life that like i mentioned people just are scratching their heads trying to figure out how you did it people think of you as some type of guide that can help them achieve what they want to achieve and go after what they want to go after and they see you and think of you as someone that is always creating the life of their dreams with the magician card creating their wishes to come to fulfillment with the nine of cups they think of you as someone that has all your wishes come true that has gone to zero to a hundred with the full card and the ten of swords 
Someone that's experienced the lowest of low moments but changed and transformed their life around and that is what people think of you when you first enter the room. And there's this feeling of people wanting to get to know you with the full card. People just wanting to also be loyal to you and get to know you and get to know different parts of your depth and your emotions and everything about you. I feel like people want to know deep things about you. They don't want to just know the shallow things about you, my pal number threes. And that is what people think when you enter the room, that they want to get to know you on a deep level, even if they're a stranger. And they feel excited to talk to you. They feel the sense of adventure being around you. Or they think of you as someone that is an adventurous person, a very playful person, a celebration to be around here with the Knight of Wands. And that is how people think of you when you enter the room. Uh, they think that you're so funny, such a kind of like life of the party energy. Even if you don't see yourself that way, even if you have social anxiety, there's this feeling of them seeing you as the life of the party, as someone that catches everyone's attention, okay? Um, and they just want to hold on to you after they start talking to you because they see you as such a celebration to be around. They think really happy thoughts and excited thoughts when you're around, my pal number threes. I'm also getting the feeling that perhaps they're scared to also tell you how how much of a deep impact you give them when you talk to them or when you're near. There's this feeling of they're scared to tell you how much they want to hold on to you or how much they feel for you. Um, you naturally just put people in this kind of energy like they just want to have you around as a lover as a friend I don't know and people also think that you're really chilled to be around that you're really non-judgmental that you're really compassionate that you're really empathetic and open but also really highly attractive and sexy with the knight of wands yeah like I mentioned you are that butterfly that flutters around and everyone wants to grab that butterfly and keep it to themselves that's a feeling I get from you my pal number threes of what people think about you when you enter the room so that was your reading my pal number threes I really hope that this resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next reading bye